this is question number three on the uh, multiple choice. And it says, which of the following functions is not even? Okay? So, not even. And it gives you choice A is x cosine x. B is just cosine of x. C is the tangent of the absolute, absolute value of x. And D is x sine of x. Okay? So let's first define what even means. Okay? So we could go ahead and test each one of those. Even is when a function of x is, is going to equal the sign and the number um, the same as the function as if x was negative. So if we plug in a positive x to any of these, the same answer should be uh, the answer should be the same as if you plugged in a negative x into each one of these. Okay, and then a little side note here for odd, just so that you know, is when the f of x equals the negative f of negative x. So you basically put plug in negative x into it, and then whatever result you get, just flip the sign in that. That should be the same as the solution for the regular, just x and positive. Okay? But in this case, this is what we're looking at. So, we've got trig functions, which means we don't really want to go plugging in numbers to test, because it's a little weird to, to visualize that. So let's go ahead and graph these things. Okay? So let's graph cosine here first, since these two are going to be cosine. So we know the cosine at 0 is going to be a positive 1. So now the rest of it just goes like this a little bit. I'm going to draw the other side since we're going to need to be looking at x values and negative x values as well as positive x values. So remember, this is your x and this is your cosine of x. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do this one first since this is just simple cosine of x. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick an x, right? So this x is the same as this x. This x is the same as that x, but in the negative version. So I'm just going to call this a, a. St well, I'll just see, let's do this. Start that one and start that one, meaning they're the same value. So whatever this is here, so say this is a, this is negative a. So there we have our x and our negative x, okay? Notice we don't want to pick the value over here and over here because those are going to equal cosine equal to zero so obviously it's going to be the same but we need it to be the same at every x so let's pick one that could give us a different x value so at positive x we get a negative cosine because this is in the negative side of the y-axis so when we plug in this side we get a negative let's see if it equals whatever we get in this side so on the negative side, when we plug in a negative a, we also get a negative, right? Because it's the same point. And we know that it's also the same value because these are going to be, well, I didn't draw it accurately, but these are going to be sinusoids, so um, they're going to be the same. So negative equals negative. Basically, this equals that. So basically, this is even. So that's not the answer. We're looking for which one is not even. Okay, let's go ahead and do a now since we've already done just cosine. What happens if we multiply an x? Well, let me leave that up. We already uh, said uh, what the cosine would be when we plug in a positive x and then a negative x, okay? So let's multiply each of those by the x we plugged in. So in this case, we, we plugged in a positive x. We were looking over here and we said we got a negative. And then we're going to multiply times the sine of that x, which was, which on this side, so it's positive, okay, x a, a is my x, and then a negative a, negative x, um, that's, the x value is negative. So we got to multiply the cosine value that we got, that was negative, times the x value that we plugged in, that's negative. So this ends up giving us still negative, but this actually turns to be positive. Okay? And so that means that uh, this is not even. Okay, so this has to be the answer. 
But let's go ahead and check the rest. So the tangent of an absolute value is definitely going to be even because and if you plug in a positive x, it's going to turn positive. So the absolute value, if you plug in a negative x, it's going to turn positive as well. So that it has to be even. But let's just look at sine for the sake of it, just in case you had started out doing sine. So that one starts at 0, because we know sine of 0 is 0. So it looks like that. And like that. Okay? And so you would have noticed that you had to uh, draw both sides. Even when I first was doing this question, I just drew the positive side of sine and cosine, because that's what I'm used to. But then you notice, hey, I have to plug in a negative x, so that has that whole negative x side has to be there. So then you go ahead and extend it and draw the rest of it. So anyway, now that I've drawn sine, let's again pick a positive a and a, po and a negative a to do this with. So uh, when I plug in a positive sine here, I have positive x, I get a positive sine. So I get positive. And times my x, which was positive, again, is positive. Now let's do the other side. Here, my x, I'm plugging in a negative x, so let's just already put this in. And then when I plug in a negative x, I get a negative sign. So then I get this becomes positive, and this is also positive. So that has to be even. And so again, the answer is A.